everybody, Jake here. So, sorry I haven't been able to upload here in a while. It's been, uh, it's been pretty busy and not, uh, the internet has been pretty slow, so it's kind of hard to put up the videos with that. Anyways, um, I just want to take and go over a couple things that has been happening here. So, first off, as you guys can see, the 245 is in the shed. And look at that. Front duels. I'm really excited this was something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It took us a while to find the tires um, because our front tires are um, a little different than the normal ones. Back tires are taller than you know your normal tires so you had to have taller ones or just you know bigger ones in diameter to support those back tires so your front end wasn't down so low. Yeah, but as I said, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, um, just to beef it up. And speaking of beefing it up, we got a performance chip. Uh, as I've been saying in the, you know, as I said in a few videos, I wish this tractor, especially when I'm pulling the vertical till, I always said I wish this tractor would have, you know, more horsepower. So that's what we're doing, and we're roughly giving it 30 to 40 more horsepower. So that's going to be nice. Looking really forward to it. Um, she's going to be a beast, or more of a beast than she was. So, um, And then we're going to be doing you know, other stuff, changing oils, uh, fixing some of the uh, problems that we had when it was so muddy this year. Um, from mud flying off the tires and hitting mirrors and knocking lights off the side. So we're gonna fix some of those issues. Now the story with the front end, we have a couple of issues here. First issue is bolts on the inside of the spacers are not long enough. Um, so we're gonna have to find some longer bolts. What we're thinking, we want about we have the option of making two more inches here of space but what we have to do is we have to alternate these tires and the reason that these tires are spread because since these are you know a larger diameter when you turn if they were in we don't know if they're gonna hit this or not because they turn so sharp um, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these tires here and put it on the inside where you know this edge of the tire is closer and when we turn it doesn't hit it and this plastic piece here or the hood um, or even the metal there you know so we're gonna have to do some testing and some fooling around with it just to see you know how that will work and hopefully it works because I I do want a little bit more space in there otherwise you know this thing is gonna be pretty beefed up I'm looking forward to this and you know with the chip it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory there's a plug in over there just plug her in uh, we're gonna have to run the dial into the cab which isn't gonna be a hard task either and then the only thing that we may have trouble with is finding a place for this to be mounted um, but you know we have we have options with here since you know we got a little bit of you know little bit of uh, wire to deal with so it's been you know the weather has been really weird here lately um, a lot of snowing well we haven't got a huge ton of snow but we've had a lot of weird storms uh, probably as you saw in the start of this video you saw the hailing well we had a nice thunderstorm come through when it was 50 degrees out um, thunderstorming in the middle of January uh, I was on the TV and we're watching that and all of a sudden I see a weather thing pop up and it's like a strong thunderstorm is it uh, entering the area and that was kind of weird but then after that we got about five inches of snow and then uh, then it all melted away because we had almost over 50 degree weather almost 60 a couple of the days and then we're back to snow which you know, we don't exactly need but uh, it's really wet out there uh, manure has been trying to get spread here lately and a lot of the fields are just way too wet um, to get out and you know we cut up a bunch of wood here for this this was almost full 
Uh, but we're what's nice about the warm days is we don't go through as much wood. So you know it's semi warm out right now. Like I'm in a sweatshirt right now, and you know it's just fine. Alrighty, so we're putting the front duals on right now. This is actually the inside tire for the other side. Um, so anyways, these are the old, or the ones that were on the inside before when we just had single front tires. And these are going on the outside because of the wear on the tread. And um, those, the new ones actually had better tread on them. So these are what the other ones originally looked like. Um, we actually, what we had to do was take the hubs and flip them around so that the shorter end was on this side and it can take and sit like this so the tire is closer. So the reason we're doing this is so we have more space in between the two duals and the reason also that we have the tire turn like this is so we we're going to make sure that it isn't going to hit the tub and this plastic piece right here because obviously if you hit that you rip it off so we're going to start uh jack we're going to take this jack jack up the axle and we're going to uh see if it hits this and if it does we have to switch it around so All right, so now it locked. Let's see what we got. And it looks like we're good. Um, the chances of us getting this tire up this high are slim to none, but we'll be good even if we had to get, if we were in that situation, we'd be all right. So uh, when we first put the duels on the front, we did have them on. Uh, we actually didn't have a long enough bolt, so we had to order longer bolts for the the spacers so the spacers can go on we wanted more uh, space in between the the two tires because they were just a little too close and you always want a little space in between there in case you get in the mud so the mud doesn't collect up in there like we had problems this year with these duels but that was an especially muddy field as you guys can remember from the Spacers are on. So what we got to do yet is tighten up these bolts along the, the hubs, and then we are going to have to move it forward because they're up there. Hang on. We got to put in a bolt right there, right down there. Yeah, both sides done um, so this is roughly what she's gonna look like uh, I don't even got this bolted in right now so uh, we had to uh, we had to put these hubs on the other it, they used to be on the other side of the of this little notch here but we had to put it on the opposite side so that they would be um, further apart and uh, it actually wasn't a huge you know it added a little bit so she's uh she's coming together this is gonna be a thing for tomorrow um, to finish up we're gonna put you know get the dual strapped on I gotta paint that up there 
and then uh, you got to take and make a bracket so these weights hold together and I have to uh, fix the infamous mirror problem that will be for tomorrow I have the GoPro on so it'll all be one video but I'll bring the GoPro out I didn't I just got home and I just wanted to get started on this so so we got something new for the farm um, just something little uh, this is a new rock bucket uh, we needed a new one uh, the other one started to get pretty banged up so it's actually a couple days later uh, I put the duels on yesterday we got the spacers put in we got the hubs turned around we got everything set up and uh, you know it looks really good I'll show you guys when I get into the shop somewhat warm out today so hopefully I'm gonna take it for a ride out on the road just to see what we want to check for is to see if the hubs went on wrong and if they did you'd feel like a, a bouncing sensation from the wheel not being perfectly straight on the hubs so that's what we're gonna check for today hopefully um, it's sitting in a warm shop well not actually warm right now I'm gonna warm it up to 50 degrees once I load this thing if we keep that on overnight or if we keep the shop heated overnight it'll suck uh, all the wood up in here it'll only take four hours for us to burn you know, this so plus it's empty anyways from just eating out so we actually do keep it above freezing in there but you know that shop is pretty well insulated not extremely good how we would want it but um it's insulated enough where we can keep it over freezing so i'm gonna load up some wood here uh believe it or not this was full a couple months ago but things have been pretty cold here hopefully i think we have one more cold stretch uh really cold stretch until we get to some warmer uh, weather which we really need like um, we actually had some warm weather a couple uh, a couple days ago, and it was just so nice because I'm kind of sick of winter. I get you get to about February and you just get sick of it all. Um, we haven't you know had much snow to talk about this year. Now they're talking you know one to three inches tonight, and then another one to three inches tomorrow. Which then we'll get six inches of snow and then it'll melt again. Um, which is okay. I don't care. I don't want the snow here anyways, but um, Yeah, that's just it's how it go. It, that's how it's been all winter. It's just been snow You get snow you get a certain amount of snow and it melts and then Everything's melted and there's water all over the roads and all that and then it freezes right away And then you have slippery roads and you know, that's Wisconsin On or get her to 50 degrees in here Well, let's get some lights in here. So there she is. She looks really good with these things on. Well, we got a ton more snow, or we got a ton of snow. Uh, I think we have about eight inches now, so we got that within two days. So, it kind of sucks. Anyways, a couple days later, uh, I just want to wrap this video up. Uh, and it's actually kind of cool up. I just wish the snow wasn't here. As you guys can see, there's trails right over there. I've been riding four wheelers a lot. So, anyways, um, I just want to end this video out. I got the big girl in the shed. Um, drives we took him for a ride down the road sorry I didn't get video my GoPro battery died I didn't have enough I didn't have enough time to go in and get a video because it's already snowing and I just didn't it was sitting outside and I didn't want to get all full of snow so um, I'm gonna have some cleaning to do to it because we do have a couple things that we're gonna be doing uh, with it here in February and uh, I just want her clean, um, especially the hood and all that, because 
if we get a little bit more snow onto it then then we won't have much dirt on it like there is now so um anyways uh so i'm gonna tell you guys how it drives way 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 different than it did before smoother we have a bump over a culvert didn't even feel it did not it just you know it was just a little nudge you knew it was there but you just did not feel going over it it didn't bounce your guts out it just it did a really nice job at taking the bumps away steering is great um it's a little it feels way different um but uh, i think it turns a little sharper just because how we put this tire in yeah it's starting to be nice i'm looking i'm looking really forward to it so uh when we turn the duels all the way it's not really on this side that we have to worry about but it might be on this side you know it's pretty damn close to this on the fuel tank here so we're gonna have to be careful there but um it doesn't seem to be an issue uh we turned it all the way and um yeah it's it's looking really good looking forward to getting this baby out running so uh this video has been spanned over a couple of days uh sorry about that it's cold out it's been cold out for the last two days um no three days it's been really cold out right when the snow came in it got really cold out so uh we're, we this winter has been you know somewhat mild it's been really cold most of the you know for the start of the winter it's been very cold but uh, we haven't had much snow this is actually the most snow we got this whole year so i think we measured up to six inches yeah i'm thinking roughly six to eight to eight inches so um can't really tell up in here because we've been driving four wheelers through here so so sadly this is probably my first video of 2018 so i guess i have a little bit of battery left um so i'll let you guys know some of the plans for this year this is way way late and i'm sorry about that um but my main plan is to get you guys more videos um or at least film a bunch of stuff and make longer videos. I, tr I, you know, I like to keep my videos around the 15 to 20 minute range. So, uh, we got a couple things coming up here that I will video. Uh, I did video a bunch of stuff, but some of this stuff I lost the footage. And that was totally my fault because I accidentally deleted them. So, that was, uh one of those stupid things that I did when I was there because I usually select them all and then you know right click and copy instead of doing that I accidentally right clicked and deleted so it was totally my fault and besides the point um, my main objective here for 2018 is to get you guys some more videos and a consistent schedule or a consistent upload so uh, I'll try to get you guys <laughs> as many as I can, but, um, to, for those of you who are watching, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, my goal for 2018 is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Hoping that can work out. Um, and as I said, I'll be putting up different videos here and there too. Um, some interesting stuff that are happening this year. Um, there might be something coming up here pretty soon about this. Uh, not sure on that yet. Then I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, and we do have a couple of videos on the vertical till and the fuel cultivator. We're getting cylinders replaced on those. Um, on the vertical till on the wheel there uh, it was still under warranty and for some reason that the seals in there broke and then uh, on the fuel cultivator this has been on that thing that we've had this thing forever this fuel cultivator that's 
um, it's been on the farm probably since I was a little, little pipsqueak, so, uh, the, the rod and the, the hydraulic arm busted, or not busted, but it's bent, and it's been bent for a while, but we just want to get that fixed because eventually down the road that could cause problems for the whole, the whole hydraulic cylinder, and those are very pricey, especially on an old cultivator to get those replaced. So we're going to take and get those fixed and that'll turn out, you know, good because it's sick thing and sick. I get sick and tired of seeing that thing bent all the time when I'm sitting there field cultivating. So, but that Chase Age field cultivator, that is, you know, one of the best things on this farm. Uh, just for how long it's lasted and the, the decent, the, it's not just a decent job, it does a great job, you know. It does just as good as the new ones do, so plus I like having the disc gangs in the front. Um, you know, and that's one of the reasons we got the vertical till is so we can use the discs uh, for chopping corn stalks for bean ground, so. I will be doing another video too of our full routine on all this equipment in the spring on I did a part I did a video getting the field cultivator ready last year but I feel like I didn't really explain it all that good I was kind of more paying attention to working so this year I am going to get a detailed video on that how to grease it how to do everything to get it ready and your daily maintenance that thing as well and the planter so the planter you know I'm sure that's a big thing people want to see have had Roughly two, three people uh, asked me if I can do a video on how to prep that planter. So I will get that prep. I'll show you guys, or I'll, I'll do a video on how to prep it. Um, and it won't be a long, lengthy video either. It'll just be short, you know, quick edits and, you know, stuff like that. And if you guys have any questions about that stuff, I have... Uh, me and other resources too if you guys are having problems if you have you know same equipment or roughly the same equipment have any questions throw them in comments below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them so with that being said I think we're gonna wrap up this video my GoPro's already hollering at me saying it's almost dead so anyways well I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe Jake Linz talk to you guys later